turning our bear canisters today. It's gonna be a big weight off my shoulders. <laughs> Brandon, your pack's looking a little big, bud. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, this nice. is gonna be fun. Welcome to episode number nine of the PCT hike. I just farted. That's a great way to start. Yeah, I did. Oh. We are leaving Red's Meadow Resort. We spent the day in Mammoth yesterday for the 4th of July. It was sick. And now we gotta get back on trail, crush some more miles, do the hiking thing. We gonna stroke some miles. We're gonna stroke some miles, boy. Look how ultra light I am. <laughs> Brandon's pack is massive. People keep sending me food and I feel, <laughs> feel thankful and I have to keep carrying it, so. Let's do it. Why don't you fly, dude? All right, we're at camp for the night. This is one of the coolest campsites of the whole trail. Check this out. Unreal. What an amazing spot. Sweet, huh? This is so sweet. This is so sweet. Tonight we're doing avocado and uh, some mac and cheese and some hot sauce, of course. That's Doritos. That's not hot sauce, actually. Right there. Mac and cheese, avocado wrap. Here we go. morning everybody today's gonna be a good day we have about 22 miles to this place that I cannot pronounce right Tolumany Meadows something like that it's just a store and a post office but it's right off the trail so we're gonna grab some food there we got two passes the first is called Island Pass and I don't remember what the second one's called but it's only about 11 miles to get over the second one and it's only about 2,000 feet of climbing which isn't too bad and then after that it's like all downhill and even kind of flat for like a number of miles afterwards, like even into tomorrow morning. So should be a slightly easier than normal day. <laughs> One thing that's not going to be easy though is, um, sorry ULA, but my sternum strap actually broke yesterday. I don't know if you guys can tell. I jerry-rigged this up like this, but it's normally supposed to be attached to the little clip right there. I've had this backpack for a while. I've put a lot of miles on it, so I'm, I'm not just going to completely blame ULA because I also do like tighten it quite a bit. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm hoping I can find like a needle and thread and someone that knows how to sew at some point that can <laughs> help me fix it. But for now, we just gotta roll with it. Let's get on the trail. Cold send. Uh, your idea, bud. Dude, you <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so cold. <laughs> it feels good though. Alright, that's out of the way. <laughs> okay, that was fun, super fun. You alright, bud? Yeah. <laughs> Cold. Lost Meister. How you feeling this morning? Pretty good, cause we get to go and get some more food today. I did learn something very tragic this morning. <sighs> First, I thought you said that this place didn't have a restroom, and I was like, that's all right, cause I take care of my business out here. But you said they didn't have a restaurant. Yeah. Tough, man. Got nothing more to say. 
What's up? It's Marshmallow Kyle with stuff in my mustache. Tolumany Meadows is the place he's referring to. It's quite literally a post office and a store. There used to be like a grill there too, but the grill got COVID and died apparently. Um, <laughs> not sure if it was because of COVID or with COVID, but anyways, we still gotta go there to resupply. We gotta resupply for about 75 miles at the store, which has sketchy reviews about the resupply. They got food, we know that. It just, it might not be the best selection. So anyways, we shall see. Here we go. Hamburger. Ice cream and coffee for breakfast. And for Phoenix, SpaghettiOs. Cold. Whatever floats your boat, man. No, it floats. Wanna buy it? Nope. It's all about what you want and what you need and what you'll get I see some legs popping out over there. A wild Brandon is about to emerge. Good morning, everybody. Another cold one, but I got coffee. This is like, I've never seen this before, but this is the only instant coffee they had at that store yesterday. Mount Hagen. Looks like it's European, but it's USDA organic, and it's fair trade. I don't want my coffee being traded unfairly, whatever the f that means. <laughs> I hiked a half mile or so, and then I went up there, and I took a big old sh man. It felt good. Had to get that out. I feel like I haven't really talked too much in this video about some of the stats about where we are and all that stuff, so today is day 53, I think. I can tell you with certainty though that we are about 960 miles into the trail and there's somebody coming, which means I have to put this away. The only weirdos talk to their cameras in the woods by themselves. <laughs> Mosquito, you little bitch. Oh, today's been a hard day, man. For most of the PCT, I feel like you, you climb a lot, but you climb very gradually over the course of like, you know, seven, eight miles. And then you climb down seven, eight miles, nice and steady. But today, man, it feels like we're on the AT. It's just like short, steep climbs with no breaks. Definitely been the steepest stuff we've gone up and down this whole trail so far. And it's an ass kicker. Flossie. What? How you feeling over there? It's been tough, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like we've gone up some stuff that's been this hard. I don't know, the downhill today too? Yeah, the downhill was brutal and I always think the downhill is brutal. You know, Brandon has been putting on friggin' system of a down and <laughs> he's getting me pumped up and then I'm going up the mountain too fast. And I friggin' get lightheaded, gotta stop. <laughs> it's so damn hot out. But other than that, today's been good. <laughs> We're at camp. Oh yeah, that's my leg. That look good, don't it? Those are my feet. They look pretty fucked. Thanks. That was the aftermath of Flossie getting sprayed the hell down because of how bad these mosquitoes are. Heck yeah, dude. I think it's working. Hello. <laughs> Today we did 20 miles. It was 20 pretty tough miles. Probably the toughest of the trail for me. For me. But what do I know? And I think we're going to try to do 23 tomorrow. Or maybe more. Who knows? But, uh... Also got my permit checked for the first time this entire hike today by a ranger who was very nice. He was a Bruins fan, so I like that ranger. That was probably the highlight of the day today. 
One thing that definitely was not a highlight, though, was we could see smoke. God, I'm so tired trying to explain this. F*** the smoke, Luke. <laughs> I'm going to bed. All right, it's the morning. We got a hike. Yesterday afternoon, we started to see some smoke. Clearly, there's a wildfire somewhere. We weren't really sure where it was, but um, we got some intel from uh, another hiker who said the fire was outside of Yosemite, and this is just like the, the smoke just like creeping in, so it's not like an immediate danger. Not that we were that worried, but it's a little bit nerve-wracking when you're not used to fires. Probably can't tell how smoky it is, but there's two smokes right there. Um, <laughs> might be a little little smoky of a day, but we gotta smoke the trail. We gotta stoke, stroke the trail, not stoke the trail. But we're gonna be stoked on the trail. The f am I saying? Um, we better start hiking. Everything that we do exclusive, make sure that it's all inclusive. I was taught, make no excuses. As a man, you can't be useless. Man up, cause these people ruthless. Down, these thoughts clueless. Lives to Mac, I'm up at roof, Chris. From my tone, you peep the smoothness. In this world, you get the loot. Then your dreams is gonna be lucid. Fool me one time, shame on you. Second time, you gonna be foolish. All that BS for the birds that come to me, I'm chucking deuces. I stay loyal to the soil, you never out here breaking truces. On this road, it's bumps and bruises. Thousand miles. Kind of crazy. You remember what it felt like when you hit a thousand on the AT? I have exact no idea. <laughs> you don't remember it all? No, but I'll remember this one. We're gonna, that for sure. we're gonna remember this one. I remember mine. It was very brief. This one's a little more exciting because there's actually people around. <laughs> Let's go! A thousand freaking miles, dude. Hell yeah. Hit subscribe for that if you haven't already. Alright, we made it to camp, dude. Good day today. I think this is day 55. We did 23 point unknown miles today. This thing right here, I like this tent, but I'm just gonna let you guys know that, um, my last night in it. Not because I'm quitting the trail. You could probably guess why I'm getting a new tent tomorrow. You ready to see what it is? Well, you're gonna have to wait because I'm about to cook dinner and I'm gonna show you that. What's for dinner tonight, bub? A little uh, mac and cheese. Annie's. Nothing but the best, baby. Get some freaking hat salami. <laughs> and all these crushed because of my bear can. And they're too hard to eat like this, so I'm gonna dump it that in the wrap too. It's a good idea. How, how good does that look? It honestly doesn't look very good, but it tastes pretty good. I'm not kidding. Good morning, everybody. Today is a town day. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to Kennedy Meadows North, and we get to ditch the bear cans, dude. We have 11 miles to get to the road, and then we got to find a ride in. And that's all we have left with the bear can. We're going to send it back. I'm going to piss in it. I'm going to sh** in it, and I'm going to send it back because I don't want it anymore. <laughs> also, picking up a new tent today. Very excited about that. I'm gonna get moving here. I'm gonna hike about 0.2 miles and then I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna take a shit. Because that's how it goes with me in the morning. This is why you have to follow us on Instagram, everybody. You see what we're doing for this? <laughs> oh, sh lots of options. Come on, come on. Oh, look at those burgers. Bite, first bite. Oh. <laughs> All right, we just got done eating. Plus, has got something to say. So we're returning our bear canisters today. It's gonna be a big weight off my shoulders. <laughs> yeah, that's a knee slapper. Brandon, what's up? You get anything good? Blueberry muffins, some hard salami. Cause you're so hard, dude. I never know if I bought enough or way too much or not enough. You just never know. All right, we've been hanging out at Kennedy Meadows North past few hours. Most hikers here, it seems like, are staying the night, but we gotta keep moving, man. We got three and a half more days to Tahoe where we're gonna take a zero. We're against the clock. <laughs> we only did 11 miles, so we gotta get back out there tonight. It's been a nice little break. Got our resupply for the next few days. Three and a half days till Tahoe, and the end of the video. So you gotta keep watching, because it's not over yet. These trekking poles have never once collapsed on me. 
This patch of dirt is home for net. Oh my god, I f that up. Now I have to do it again. This patch of dirt right here, this is home for the night. And that's tonight's television program. Who's ready to see my new tent? Smash the like button. Share this with a friend or an enemy if you're ready to see my new tent, which I do not know how to set up. Here we go. I have no idea how to set this tent up. How does this work? Where's the loop? Well anyways, this is the z -Pax Plex Solo. They sent this to me because I am spoiled and privileged. Honestly, the main reason I got it was because, man, I just don't trust that Gossamer gear in the rain anymore. Just can't do it. Although it's probably not gonna rain for like a long time, but. <laughs> this thing's also a few ounces lighter. So z -Packs, thank you very much. And thank all of you for watching because if you guys didn't watch, I wouldn't be getting hooked up with awesome gear like this. So this tent, it's not even mine, it's, it's yours. You wanna come in? It's probably not enough space. It's a little bit smaller. Than I thought it was. Anyways, I need some more stakes. I think Brandon told me you need 10 to set it up, and I only have eight, so I'm gonna have to pick up a couple stakes next time I go to town, but we're gonna make do for tonight. Oops, that's not good. This door is interesting. Oh, there's actually a good amount of space in here. Oh, I'm stoked. Let's go. First night in the z Pax tent is over. It was pretty good. I think it was honestly a little bit better than I thought. It was a little bit more spacious in there than I thought, although I didn't have the bathtub cinched up at all, which I feel like if I did that might decrease some of the space just a little bit, but it was pretty good. The vestibule was even bigger than I thought. Like it's not that much smaller than the Gossamer gear tent. I'm pretty stoked on it. I don't know where to start taking this thing down. Probably gonna start with a sip of coffee. We're at camp. We hiked 20, over 26 miles today. It wasn't the easiest, but these guys still got enough energy to f around like this. Foul ball. <laughs> <laughs> one on one, one on one. <laughs> not the tent, bro, not the tent. Oh! Fastball. He knew it. What do you got to say about today? I would say that today was pretty difficult. It was 4,800 feet, 26 miles. Well, a few days ago, we had to ford some rivers. The riverbed was pretty sandy, so I was taking my shoes off and my socks off and walking across, but I don't know if that was the smartest idea because I think I had got sand left in my socks. Mm. Like three of my toes, they feel pretty raw right now. I had Luco tape wrapped around my pen, but I couldn't get it unstuck from it, so I just <laughs> got mad and threw the pen away. <laughs> Anyways, today was a good day. No complaints. Ready for 25 more tomorrow? Yeah, and you know, we don't pop pills. We hike hills, baby. That's how we get high. I think that was pretty well spoken. Look at this, what is that? I got stuff on my nose. Pretty sure that's dinner. I'm a wreck, but this is what you look like and what you act like when you've been living in the woods for 50... Day 57? Yeah. 57 days straight. This is what you look like. <laughs> with lanes.
world since Adonis Wah wah, conquer, conquer the world with wonton soup recipes like Much love to the God be, I'm probably a flick Today was a hell of a day, another 26er, check this out Whole explosion of light, alright so that's my food bag and that's the trail. The, that was the only branch I could find that was somewhat acceptable for a bear hang. So now every person who hikes by tomorrow morning is gonna see my beautiful face. Some free advertising for the YouTube channel too. It's free real estate. Town day tomorrow, let's go. We're going to Tahoe tomorrow, we're gonna to take a zero. I'm excited, because I am dirty. Good night. We're about to leave. We have 19.1 miles with 3,071 feet of elevation <laughs> gain to do before we get to town and we get to shower and we get to clean up. Brandon just shit his pants. Um, <laughs> but I am disgusting. Salt stains everywhere, dirt everywhere. Brandon's got shit everywhere. <laughs> you ready for town? Oh, uh, you got, caught me at a bad time there. <laughs> up a little bit. Oh, wait, down. Just there you go. Oh, wait, oh, no. Right there. You best believe I'm ready for town. We get to see a friend, and we get to chill and relax. Clean up. Yeah, I think it's been eight days without a shower, so it's going to feel good. Oh, let's get it. Let's get it. All right, so we just hiked a few miles, and what happened, Flossie? Big shout out to all the volunteers, first of all, here at Carson Pass. They left us. Sorry. They left us all this wonderful fruit vegetables, soda, snacks, but they've got a bucket over there just filled with trekking poles. And the Gossamer Gear trekking poles I had had seen better days. And so I was just looking over there. I found some basically brand new Cascade Mountain, which I was gonna buy anyways in Tahoe. The trail will provide, baby. That's right. I guess it's just some that people have left behind. You're gonna be ripping today now. <laughs> yeah, they're a little heavier. <laughs> Zero tomorrow, gentlemen. There Zero, you. bring it on, man. Mm. Welcome to Echo Lake. Let's go find them milkshakes, eh? Let's do it. Yeah. How is it, bud? Really good. I can't say it's the best one I've had out here, but oh. hey, I'll take it. All right, we're in town, and this man right here, this is Taylor. We met uh, Taylor on the Appalachian Trail. He was hiking the Long Trail at the time. We hiked with him for about five days. I haven't seen him since, but he lives in Tahoe now. He hooked us up with a place to stay. Freaking, we had an amazing time. If you're in the Tahoe area and you like fly fishing, Taylor, where should they go? Tahoe Fly Fishing Outfitters, check us out. I'll take you guys fishing and uh, show you a good time. You'll catch some fatties. Yeah. Taylor, thank you very much. Hey, it's been awesome. Thanks for coming, guys. And anyways, that's the end of the video. So everybody, please subscribe. Go check out Luke, editor Luke's channel, Experience Over Things. Let's get him to 1,000 subs, dude. He's so close. And let's get this channel to 40,000. Thank you guys so much. And uh, episode 9? Is it 9? You have no idea. No clue. No clue. I don't even know. Episode 9 is over. Or maybe it's 10. Or maybe who gives a f***. Bye.